Google's Notebook LM has quietly rolled out some major updates that most people are completely missing. And today I'm going to share with you everything new in the latest version. About half a year ago, I made a video introducing Notebook LM. At that time, it was considered a sensational tool because it can generate audio podcasts based on PDFs. And it was only an experimental tool. It has gone through a lot of updates. And in today's tutorial, I will share with you all the interesting updates and also uh, a use case that I think you will enjoy and actually use. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Elle. Welcome to the channel. Let's go to Notebook LM's website, which is notebooklm.google. And on its homepage, it says explicitly understand anything built with the latest Gemini models. And the amazing part is it's completely free. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty details of how to use this, incredible tool, I do want to highlight one of the most exciting new features that Google's Notebook LOM is now available in 50 plus languages. And it means that you can generate audio overviews in those different languages. You can see a lot of languages listed here. And another thing I wanted to emphasize is the context window or token limit, because that's really important. We don't want to just be limited by entering just one PDF or one link of YouTube video. Now, with the free version of Notebook LM, you get 100 notebooks with up to 50 sources each and 500,000 words each. So that is pretty much unlimited 25 million words for any kind of personal usage. Unless you are using it for your company and then you may want it to upload the entire archive of your company documents. And in that way, you can consider the paid version, which is Notebook LM Pro. And there's also a file size limit up to 200 megabyte for local uploads. And there's no page limit. Okay, to Notebook LM. You can click on create new notebook here to start. Then you'll be prompted with this interface for you to upload sources. Now I want to use a real life scenario for this demo. So I am actually going to visit Le Louvre. Now, I have visited Paris a couple of times, but it's been a long while. And one time 10 years ago, it's unlikely I will spend multiple days or several hours on those kind of research. So today's project is going to focus on let's test if Notebook LM can become a fantastic travel guide for me. So for the upcoming task, I want to know what's the best way to visit the Louvre in Paris efficiently, but also don't miss out on the important art pieces and learn some histories. So this is what I did. I went to YouTube and found two videos so I'm going to copy over the link. So I click on YouTube and this is my source one. Now immediately after you will be presented with major interface, which is a three column design with the source panel on the left side and in the middle, the chat window and on the right hand side, the studio panel. So here I actually want to add another YouTube video. Now, every time you have uploaded some new resources, you will see in a chat window, it will automatically generate a summary. Now, let's focus on each panel one by one. First, let's look at the sources. It would be great if I have a lot of time in doing all the research myself and listing all the different articles, videos here. I mean, ideally, the more the merrier, right? But what if I don't have time to find all those different resources? Now we can check out the discover button here. You can actually tell Notebook LM what you wanted to accomplish and it will find resources for you. For example, here, I wanted to learn how to visit the Louvre in an efficient way, but also enjoyable. Generally, we'll come up with 10 sources and by default, it selects all 10 different sources. 
So you can choose to include all of them or you can choose to sel select the ones you feel more relevant. You see most of the links it listed here are website links. But look here, there's also a PDF museum map. That's really amazing. So I'm just going to import all by click import here. Now you can see on the left hand side, I now have 10 sources provided by Notebook LM and the two YouTube videos I entered. So here's a little tip here. If you want, you can try my workflow here. If for some personal tasks or work tasks, you really don't have a lot of time. You can try to find just one to two credible sources on your own and you use the discover function to let Notebook LM find 10 other sources for you. Let's move on to the second panel, which is in the middle, the chat window. Now here there is by default a quick summary of the resources you enter. You can choose to save to note. Now this is really important because if you don't save to note, these info will disappear next time you open this notebook. So if you like the summary and you want to save it, you can click save to note and you will see on the right hand side, there is a note being saved. Of course, you can also add your own note. So there's a very exciting new feature which is called mind map. Let me show you. So here, click on mind map. Okay, just click to open the mind map. So you can see a really nice chart has been generated. Now remember, the current task here is relatively straightforward. If you have a very complicated project where you have a lot of different sources and you wanted to get some clarity of what is connected to what and quickly remember the structure, I think it's a wonderful visualization tool you can explore. Here's the mind map. Now you can click on these little arrows to expand. And as long as it has arrows, that means it has an extra layer for you to explore. So let's see entrance. Now, if you don't see an arrow after a tag, that means this is the bottom level tags. And if you click on them, it will direct you back to the chat window for more information. I think it can be really handy for a live demo presentation mm. about inside the museum. Let me click on the arrow. Okay, like artworks. Wow, that's very fascinating. And of course we have Mona Lisa. And then what if I wanted to know more about Mona Lisa? And I am taking back to the chat window. Okay, give me a nice summary of the history behind Mona Lisa. And here's also the exact location and potentially see the Mona Lisa crowd free. Perfect. And then I do recommend that if you liked the summary and please do click on save to note, otherwise it will disappear the next time you open this notebook. Okay, have a note saved and properly named as Finding the Mona Lisa at the Louvre. What I also really liked about Notebook LM is, for example, here is a suggestion. If it's on your list, you might consider going straight to the Mona Lisa immediately upon entering, especially with timed tickets. So I can click on the number and it's actually edit fade. And here are the comments. So it's really diverse. Now you may ask, what about in the middle of the audio overview? Why don't you just click on it already? Well, that's the third part of today's tutorial. Let's move on to the studio. I will tell you why I didn't click on here. All right, under studio, we can generate audio podcasts with two hosts. And if we click on audio overview in the middle, then we miss out on the customization opportunity, which is a major update in the latest version of Notebook LM. So before we click on generate here, we want to click on customize. Now you see there are two different metrics you can customize. Number one is length. There's default, shorter, and longer you can choose. I'm just gonna choose default here. And you can actually demand which direction you want these two hosts to focus on. Please focus on practical tips on visiting the Louvre within a three hour time frame. 
provide some riff histories and fun facts behind important art pieces. And now, after the customization, I am ready to click on generate. And while it's generating, let's quickly go over the notes section. Here are four different notes formats that Notebook LM can automatically generate based on the sources in the notebook. So if you have tried any of these different nodes formats, please do share your feedback down in the comment section below so that we can help each other to find the best way to use this new tool. Before we move on to listen to the audio guide, I do want to introduce how to generate audios in different languages. Here you can click on settings and then output language. Now default is the same language that your Google workspace is using. So for me, obviously it's English and you can change after you change the setting, the textual output and audio output will all be in that language. Once again, if you try different languages, please also share your feedback down in the comment section below to tell us whether it sounds natural, whether the audio was helpful to you. All right, now let's um, 30 minutes and 50 second audio overview generated. Okay, I guess. You're standing outside the Louvre. It's treasures, but uh, three hours. Right. Okay, got my memo that I only have three hours. How do you even begin to tackle that massive place, see something amazing and not just, well, freak out? That feeling is so common. It's like facing a giant buffet with only a tiny plate in five minutes. Ooh. I will spare you with the rest of the audio, but there is one last feature I wanted to introduce, which is the interactive mode of the audio overview. It just means that you can actually join the conversation with the two AI hosts. Well, let me show you how. So let's click on interactive mode. Now it's in beta version. Now we're in the interactive mode with the audio overview. Let's click on play button. Now let's talk about some of those artworks you might want to prioritize. Of course, the Mona Lisa probably on everyone's list. It is undeniably. Do you have any tip on how to take a picture with Mona Lisa? That's a great question and it's definitely something a lot of visitors think about. Right, that iconic Mona Lisa shot. Unfortunately, our sources don't provide a specific table or guide on how to best take a picture with her. One tip that comes through is to head there first if it's a priority for you. So it didn't give me a special tip on taking a picture with Mona Lisa, but I love it that it did so because it's trying to stick to the resources I included in this notebook. It was significantly lower the chance of hallucination. Now, I I think I am pretty impressed by the audio overview it generates. I particularly liked the customization function so I can customize the lens of the audio podcast as well as demand a specific focus of the podcast. I think that's super important and will speed up our productivity. So here are all the new updates with Notebook LM. Whether you're new to this tool or you have used it in the past, I hope you will test it out and do share your feedback down in the comment section below. If you find today's video helpful, please subscribe and share it with anybody who you think can benefit from watching it. Thank you.